The F-16 Fighting Falcon is an American single-engine multirole fighter developed by General Dynamics initially to meet the needs of the United States Air Force USAF, at the time as a daytime air superiority fighter. But the F-16 was successfully developed into an all-weather multirole aircraft. Designed as a small, light, and highly agile fighter, the F-16 has taken on more roles, from ground attack, anti-submarine, photo reconnaissance, to hunting surface-to-air missile launchers. Since 2015, the F-16 has become the world's most numerous military fixed-wing aircraft. More than 2,000 units are estimated to be in active use worldwide today. The background to the development of the F-16 stems from the United States' need for an air superiority light fighter. In the late 1960s, Colonel John Boyd, along with a group of defense innovators known as the Fighter Mafia, developed the first concept to design the F-16. The jet flew for the first time on January 20, 1974. However, uniquely this flight was not an official flight but an accidental flight during high-speed ground testing. On February 5, the S-16 again flew at supersonic speeds for the first time. This Air War jet has been produced up to 4,500 units worldwide to date. Apart from the United States, the F-16 is also used by many other countries. Approximately 27 countries have operated the F-16, including the Netherlands, Norway, Greece, Denmark, Poland, Portugal, Indonesia, and others. One of the things that makes the F-16 the most popular aircraft is its role in many combat actions in various parts of the world. During Operation Desert Storm in 1991, the F-16 conducted at least 13,340 sorties against enemy targets. In addition, the F-16 participated in the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq from 2000 and 1 to 2003, and patrolled no-fly zones during operations Northern Watch and Southern Watch. The F-16 also took part in the 2011 operation in Libya, earning the F-16 the nickname Battle Proven. In 2023, two North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, member states announced that they would provide dozens of S-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. Denmark and the Netherlands made the announcement after receiving the blessing of the United States. Denmark will deliver 19 fighter jets, while the Netherlands did not specify the number of jets to be sent to Ukraine. The delivery plan will be carried out as soon as pilot training is completed in the middle of this year.
President Volodymyr Zelensky has long requested the delivery of F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine to help their air defenses. However, the U.S. continues to refuse because it considers that Ukraine is not ready to operate the F-16. It takes about six months to train pilots to operate these fighter jets optimally. After pressure from some of its allies in the West, the U.S. finally agreed to deliver advanced fighter jets including the F-16 Falcon. The U.S. defense gave a note that Ukraine could not use the F-16s to attack Russian territory and could only be used in its own airspace. Of course, this was welcomed by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, who said they would build an international coalition to provide fighter jet support for Ukraine. Rishi Sunak said Britain would set up a flight school to train Ukrainian pilots. French PM Emmanuel Macron said his country was willing to do the same, but would not send fighter jets. At the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukraine was believed to have about 120 combat-capable aircraft, mostly consisting of aging Soviet-era MiG-29s and Su-27s, but officials say they need up to 200 jets to match Moscow's air power, which is estimated to be five or six times larger than Kiev's. Although already eclipsed by the more modern F-35, the F-16 is still widely used. Experts say modern fighters like the F-16 will help Ukraine strike behind Russian lines.